<sighs> okay, so here's an interesting game that not many people know of. It's called Rock and Roll Racing. So, um, in this game, uh, it's obviously okay, a racing yeah, game, but cool. uh, one of the coolest things that this game is known for is it's one of the first few games back in, like during the older uh, era to have licensed music. So they'll play like they'll play some classic rock. They play uh, Paranoia. Um, what is it called? Born to Me Wild. And um, uh, the most of which being uh, Back to the Bone, which is already playing in the menu screen. That's <clears throat> where the girls are rock and roll. Rock and roll, 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 yeah. Rookie, veteran, warrior. Okay, let's go for rookie. All right, so what should I pick? Yeah. I don't know if it matters or not. Wait. I plus think, acceleration. I think plus that's a game setting. Mm. Ow. Ask Solar, what? No Batgirl or Supergirl? Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to think of all the other attractive women in DC and the only one that was coming to mind was fucking Wonder Woman. And now of course all the other comments are fucking exploding saying oh i find these women attractive and you don't <laughs> <laughs> like they're saying like harley quinn and poison i was like yeah well that's the oh shit that's there we go oh, really, oh, oh, oh. there we go i'm not really attracted to women whose like whole characteristic is yeah they're evil and also sexy like that's that's i that, i'm not into that kind of thing like to me like attraction so her, oh god is something that she <laughs> <laughs> it's something that you shouldn't really have to express. It's just, you know, it's just it, it's just something that you are. It shouldn't have to. You shouldn't have to consciously in the lead, it. It bitches. Should, <laughs> it should just naturally be there. So yeah, this is what the game looks like. It is really like difficult to identify. Like it's kind of asymmetric. Jesus. Yeah, I see that. <sighs> yeah, I know. Like this was listed as one of the top ten obscured games from. Um, I forgot what his name was, but he's friends with James. Uh-huh. Yeah, like uh, this was at the number 10 list. I'm sorry? Pat? No, 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 no. Mike, uh, Mike something. He's friends with James uh, Rolfe. I know Mike. I, yeah, Mike, I know. Yeah, I just know his name, Mike. Yeah. Uh, tell Solar, I forgot about Harley. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you for Come reminding me, buddy. I, I, I... I didn't say Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. That was the chat, but all right. That was the chat. Fine. That's fair. <laughs> Actually, you know you're that does you know that does kind of bring the question. If you're man enough, who would you pick, um, Harley Quinn or Poison Ivy? <laughs> so you're telling me that you want to fuck something that makes your body itch? Okay. You're a braver man than I. So you you, you want to you want to get with something that could potentially kill you with scratching or <laughs> the, the saying is that I really hate saying the say it's not safe for pussy, but the, you know the, you know what the saying always is: that don't stick your dick in crazy. <laughs> so yeah, you're either quite literally sticking your dick in crazy or sticking your dick into poison ivy. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anybody who stuck their dick into a patch of poison ivy, but I do. But I did have one cousin that used it to wipe his ass, and it was not pleasant. <laughs> oh, he was he was miserable for a good while. You know, for anybody for anybody who would want to, you know, have their fun with poison ivy, it would just it, you would have to be a goddamn masochist, if not suicidal. Yeah, I I would like to invest in a full body condom, please. Oh my god. Um, Bliss, are you a casual or hardcore gamer? Fuck, fuck, I fuck, would fuck, be fuck. Considered casual. Um, I wouldn't like. While I would call myself a casual, I have a like a crazy obsession to the point where uh, people would assume that I'm like a professional. The hell with that! I get my ass kicked in a lot of games. Professional I, I means too. you. Professional tends to imply that you go to events and you compete and maybe make a little money off it, that sort. Eh. I, 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 hardcore gamer can also imply that, oh, you play games like nearly every day or all the oh. time if you're obsessed with games. <laughs> then I'm hardcore then because I absolutely do. 
<laughs> I, I play video games like pretty much every single fucking day, and I yeah, play a bunch. Of, I, I could, I, yeah. You're, I, you're I play playing. a bunch of the games that a lot of people consider really hard and really rage-inducing, just because Fuck! I want to. I want to be like known that. As one of the people that beat it. <laughs> That's why I, I used enjoyed to be a hardcore. Uh, I used to be hardcore when I was a teen, early 20s. Yeah, back when she was edgy. And before she I got was her fucking good... edgy! <laughs> Nobody believes me, and I was! Before she got her good Christian morals. Oh, <laughs> you, Solar! <laughs> <laughs> I will own your ass in AVP2! Well, since you're asking. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If, if, you came, if you came at me back in the day, oh, wait. I was like 15. That was my heyday when I was 15, 16. So okay, okay. How old are you? Uh, 22. I, I was am, I was still swimming at that I'm point. I'm 10 years older than you. You were. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a twinkle in my old man's eye. Okay, that wouldn't even have been a fair challenge for me. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm gonna play video games against a literal sperm cell. Yeah, that'll that'll go well. <laughs> you Five. Stop being so ball dramatic. AVP <laughs> uh, two. I would own your ass when I was fifteen, sixteen. Uh, yeah, fuck. no shit, cause he's a five year old. I, I'm a five year old <laughs> child. I think, the, <laughs> I think the most advanced gaming system I owned before I hit like the age of eighteen, where I actually started buying all my own fucking gaming systems, was a Nintendo GameCube. And for the <laughs> longest time before that, it was just a Nintendo sixty four. Like, everybody was running around fucking, like, Xbox 360s and fucking Nintendo Wii and shit, and, like, I'm Fuck. here with my GameCube, playing Lord <laughs> of the Rings for the 87th fucking time. <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking about AVPR, I'm talking about Alien vs. Predator 2, the video game, PC. Yeah, people are gonna get, get those two mixed up. That's gonna be annoying. It's AVP 2 for the PC Gold Edition. Gold Edition, alright. Gold Edition had a a second, like, single player Fuck. mission pack for a uh, for the Whoa, alien shit. and uh, not Marines this time, but uh, corporals. It's interesting. the the, the story of AVP two. Um, you do follow the stories of the alien, the predator, and the marine, but there's a second single player uh, on, pack on. where on. you can become the alien. Uh, the predator, the pred alien. Come on, baby. And it's and instead That's of right. following the story of the marines, you follow the story of the Wayland Utani corporals. Shit, shit. Yeah. Come on. No, 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 no. Wrong turn. Wrong turn. Fuck. That's the thing that sucks and, about isometric based gaming. And yes, I could go on about this, but I don't want to because <laughs> we're <laughs> watching golden. We're watching golden race. <laughs> come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Okay. I. What was that? Second place. Uh, no, I got first. Uh, yeah, you got first. Just barely. God, that one was intense. Ask plus name one game that you think that you that you're better than anyone. AVP two. That game's obsolete though. Nobody's gonna play it. <laughs> I would probably will. I'd be willing to check it out. I would too, but I can't find it on Steam. So. No, it's not. No, you won't find it on Steam. You might find the first one, but the multiplayer for that kind of sucks. The, the, the first one, yeah, I do find. I, I found your oh, review shit. for it, actually. God damn it, I hit a you fucking mine. You found my review for it? <laughs> it, was like, it was literally like the first one I found when I scrolled down. It's like, yeah, if you're an Aliens and oh, no, aliens, no, 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 no. A Predator damn it. or a Marines fan, then you'll enjoy the single player, but the multiplayer sucks dick. All right, fair enough. <laughs> You, just I so said? you know, she didn't actually say the multiplayer sucks dick. She said the multiplayer was bad. I just, I paraphrased there. So okay, please, thank you. I was don't, about go, to say. don't go misconstruing my words. <laughs> <laughs> I might be okay in Alien vs. Predator 2010, but don't quote me because I never really liked that game. I don't like the multiplayer for it either because you could literally do a one one button kill move every time. It's stupid. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh, shit. What, did I, what do I think of the single player campaigns? They're fun. Uh, I, I can play alien, the alien campaign oh. With, oh. On, 
on hardcore on its highest, hardest setting with my eyes closed. No, so. no, no, no. There we go. Oh, Jesus come on, come on, baby. Come on. Reminds me of when I... Times, I know exactly what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. But I could just literally do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> that reminds me of when I played the fucking impossible game so many fucking times that I could just literally play it with my eyes closed. Yeah. Oh, God. It was... Oh, fuck. Actually, that was don't, a time. don't do that. Okay. I'm trying not to hit those spike uh, plants that I put there. <laughs> I actually did a story arc uh, when I was in my old gaming clan where I literally just played a character of playing the single player games for AVP 2 and AVP 2010. So I have quite a bit of a mouth on me during the, that storyline. <laughs> and I'm basically bad mouthing the queen the whole time, kind of like, you lazy bitch. Why do I have to do everything? <laughs> You stupid motherfucker! You know a like, lot of here these. I am dragging my tail all over the goddamn marine base because you, you fucking lazy bitch, can't get off your high ass and help. <laughs> that was me. So, <laughs> I've been playing this game for a little while, and I've been very successful at a lot of races. Like there was that third race, and like I managed to be successful at it. But come on, challenge me, game! Oh shit! Challenge me! Challenge me! Something. Challenge me! Yes! Mm, funny joke! Get out. Die. <laughs> what kind of car do I drive? A Toyota! Mm. Oh it's, my god! It's, it's, it's funny because I'm driving a monster truck and most trucks were made by Toyota. <laughs> Just fucking let me die. Anyway, tell Bliss. Damn I it. love Dragon Bliss and the vectors you made with their ears down. Male of, male of female. What? I, I think I think they mean male or female, but whatever. I do find them to be cute. This time it is as a compliment. Uh, thank you. Uh, Lady Bliss has always been a female though, so I don't understand the male part. How could you get the gender mixed up? Uh, I I, I don't know. I'm I mean, pretty sure I made it clear that she was a female. I mean, the, the, she's got eyelashes. She has a very slender muzzle and long hair. And but oh wait, anyway, but guess. wait, but Bliss, what if what if what if the Bliss OC is transgender? Oh my god, uh, she's not transgender. <laughs> Did you just assume I, her gender? I have nothing against people or anybody being transgender, but I'm not. I'm, just I'm not against it either. It's just that there are some people who make too big of a deal over the gender. It's like, why isn't your OC transgender? Because I'm not, not transgender. transgender. It's not even that. It's like, get my gender I'm a, right. I'm about as straight as a fucking board there, home dog. <laughs> It's still a little weird to hear Bliss swear and see the Golden Fox play video games. Well, okay. yep. Well, I'm not perfect. I, I, I try to keep a PG-13 on my channel, but when I'm amongst friends, I tend to let loose. Yeah, no. No, I go, like, almost all the time I go freaking hard R. Well, okay, not hard R because, you know, you would have to be, you know. I have I have served filters on for some friends. I I am basically being chilled out, me, because I'm hanging out with Golden and Solar. I I'm very chill with these two. Whereas where I'm with uh, more sensitive ears like Doctor Wolf or Josh or Sweetie or you know etc cetera, etc. Cetera, I tend to put filters on, and no, it doesn't bother me. You know, I adapt funny to enough. my friends. Go ahead, uh, Solar. Funny enough, I actually put that filter on whenever I used to talk to Josh, and he was like, "You know, I can, you, you know, you can swear if you want." I yeah, no, he said that, that before. Like, I could cuss up. Like, he, I don't think he minds if, let's say, I cuss up a storm. No, no, it, it's like, yeah, no, it's only he only cares about it if it if he's like streaming or if he's putting up a video. Otherwise, he's just like, yeah, let loose. I don't care. Let loose if yeah. it's in like a private call or something. Yeah, no, like I, I, that's what that's what surprised me. I just assumed that he wanted that up all the time. He's like, you know, I was a Marine too. You can cuss all you want. I'm like, oh, fucking thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, the whole thing about... You, okay, so one of the things that I should mention is that periodically, not all the time, but periodically I receive a comment or two where people are saying, hey, don't cuss in your videos. My kid's watching them. Then don't let them watch. Exactly. You know. Yeah, you know. I, 
I used to talk That's... about that all the time, but one of the things that caught my attention was watching the honest trailer of uh, Deadpool. And what he mentioned is that, hey, kids actually like it when I swear. Yeah. And you never notice, like, in movies like It or watching Stranger Things, kids can cuss, and they will. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? And, you know, that that's one of those things that I have to give, you know, respect to the people behind films like It and such. Um, I actually don't mind, and I actually welcome it whenever I see kids cuss. I don't know why. But it always seems a bit like a bit on the charming side because they're more than willing to step out of their comfort zone and not just you know trying to make kids look all innocent and everything like Bambi. Eh, I admit that makes my eye twitch a little to see kids cussing. Um, mother instinct, I don't know. It's, it doesn't feel right to me, but I can put up with it. Um, but yeah, in regards to the whole, uh, hey, could you not cuss my kids watching? I, I make it clear that my channel is PG-13. Yes, my channel tends to cater to younger viewers but that doesn't mean i'm gonna fully full-blown restrict some language yeah like, no I'll, I'll tolerate i'll tolerate damn and hell and my uh, my, yeah. my whole shtick is if you put a little disclaimer at the sun at the start that says oh yeah there, there may or may not be swearing in here or there's definitely going to be swearing in there or whatever then you should be fine because you know, obviously it's there in the video. It Shit. says, hey, there might be swearing. If you have kids, don't let them watch this if you're not oh, cool. But at that. the end of the day, parents should be aware that YouTube, while it is a free live entertainment A website feed, where everybody will go to, you got to be aware that you, there's going to be cussing involved. It's the same thing with television networks. There are going to be some shows that kids will run into that will have convulsive swearing and profanity. Exactly, well, and like a, the thing that irks me is that people don't seem to understand it. They think they can just sit there, plop their kids right in front of it, and everything's going to be fine for the next six hours. Not, not, not like considering the fact that they might not, they might run into something that they're not fine with. Like if you're just going to sit there and leave them alone for a couple of God hours, you, you should be fully prepared for them to run into stuff that, you know, isn't there. You shouldn't go coming after the fucking people that made the stuff just because they're making stuff that ca that caters to a certain audience like that's it's not dumb. our job to wa look after your kids and it, that, that's your that's the parents job yeah Sorry. you know I, I i definitely do agree with that and mind you this comes from somebody who is very mindful well, not mindful but very concerned about moral standards when children are watching something and what by what i mean by that is because I, I plan to make an editorial about this about uh, morals and why I take them seriously in MLP. It's because there are some messages that kids are going to be taking for granted, and that's one of those things where you got to be mindful of what you're teaching kids compared to you know just swearing. Everybody's going to cuss. Live with it. And it, it's just what kind of damage do you cause uh, by? I'm like I'm not gonna go swearing in public in front of children like that. I mean that's disrespectful and it's also disturbing the peace. Like I get that, but yeah. kids sh at this point should be used to cuss words. If somebody says a certain word, then whatever. Yeah, when I'm in public, when I'm in public, I don't cuss. Period. Yeah, no, that's, that's one of those that's things. How I, I was raised. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> the things I tend not to do because it's it kind of makes you look stupid and unprofessional it makes you look really really bad in front of everyone saying hey my kids here don't cuss like that because i mean it's kind of the same reasons as to why like you like they should be watching like media that has cussing the difference is is that when it comes to media they have ratings and they have stuff in which kids are more than willing to listen to but out in the public it's completely unpredictable so i can get behind that but back to the subject of what I'm trying to point out to is that I care about how good of a message is being presented to children based on whatever it is that they watch compared to cussing because messages are something to take a little bit more seriously compared to swearing. Now, part of the reason of why I understand um, uh, understanding why swearing is a bit of an issue because there are some words that kids are too young to know of. They're too young to know the F word. They're too young to know... The D word. The D word is all like some people take that as a huge issue relig uh, to a religious extent. Oh, that, this is a good one. Uh, this mm. this kind of takes the conversation to a different level. Okay. Uh, because I flat out don't tolerate this. Period. 
Mm -hmm. Unless, uh, unless of course, this is like a joke amongst friends. But you better damn well be sure you are good friends to do this. Golden, what yeah. about racism? That's what somebody's asking. I avoid racism as much as possible. I respect anybody who is a part of any race. I respect anybody who is African American, Asian, what have you. As long as you're not an asshole, that's fine with me. Mm-hmm. The the thing about the thing about race jokes, I feel, is like, it, yes, like it's important to understand the context of who you're talking to. Like, obviously, don't go like up to some random guy and tell him a, a joke about their race because, like, why would you do that? But, or yeah, yeah or, or at, just at the same time, I feel like if you're among friends and you make a race joke, like your friends, sh like, it depends on that. That's the thing. There's kind of a gray area, but. It depends, like, so, what do you... I feel like people should be able to understand when something is a joke I just and when know. something is, like, actually offensive, like... Like, a good example would be Solar will make a racist joke to Mexicans, however, he's of Mexican descent. Yeah, no, no, that's, that, it could also be a result of laughing at yourself and, you know, yeah, laugh... laughing at himself. Exactly. <laughs> That's when it becomes a little more tolerable, because otherwise you're kind of dipping into, you know, a bad direction, and that can like that can go south so fast that yeah. <laughs> that's not the only thing going south. <laughs> Mexican. Uh... God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm being sent back over the border. <laughs> oh come on, man! You know, I'm not going to lie, there are some, you know, jokes that I still get a good laugh out of. I'm not going to mention them completely. One of which I'm pretty sure it's safe to mention because it's, um, it's a Hispanic joke. It's the mosh pit joke. Hmm. Uh, I think I know that one. I think, it, I mean, but, I mean, if not racism jokes, which I, I, I tend to be, like, it's a double-edged sword for me as long yeah. as I'm with good friends, I'm fine with it. Um... I tend to go more for the, like, location jokes, like, oh, look, look at little Goldie from Cali Land serves up, dude. Dude, my little pony dude. rocks, bro. Oh, and God, I wear out my it. voice doing that. Jesus. And, he, and look at that. He embraces the fact he's a Cali boy. He's a beach boy. Serves up, good. yo. <laughs> With chillax, bro. <laughs> hell. This game is fun, bro. Check it out. I am making him cringe so fucking hard. <laughs> you need to work on your accent. <laughs> like, oh my god, totally going. I thought you would be doing something. Get out. Get out. Get out. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Phallic girl stereotypes in, like, in media have irritated me so much. Because... <laughs> What does a Valley Boys accent sound like? I I I don't even know. I don't even want to ask. Question. Oh Jesus! Hey, Lion Bliss, there's this obscure Argentine film called ICO, The Brave Force. Think you might like it, though the movie was never dubbed in English. What movie? Well, I don't want to. It's called the ICO, the hero, the Brave Force. Um. The thing with me and movies, if it's not dubbed and I have to read it, I don't see a point in watching it. I, I well, watch a movie to watch the movie, not to read the movie. If I wanted to read, I'd get a book. I, I enjoy, uh, I, I enjoy, well, I don't mind, uh, dubs mainly because, like, when I watch movies, I typically, sometimes I'll have a hard time hearing what a certain character is saying, and it bothers the shit out of me. So if I have subtitles on the bottom, it's like, oh, that's what they said. So I, I don't really mind that. Plus, I'm a fast reader anyway, so I can literally just glance down at the bottom of the screen, see what they're saying, and be like, alright, and then go back to watching. I'm kind of I'm kind of a slow reader, but even then, I don't mind too much of having to read subtitles. I remember when I was a kid, um, I used to have... I used to not like uh, reading uh, subtitles, especially when it's an entirety of a film. And the first movie that introduced me to that was Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I'm like, are they going to speak Chinese the whole time? Yes. Oh, that's yes. going to be a chore. But then I heard the uh, the, the the voice, dub, the English dub, and it feels so uncanny and weird 
to hear like okay see you see their mouths move but they don't synchronize with what's being you know um being translated to english mm. yeah like i don't mind too much with anime because anime it's like its mouths are open and closed open and closed so it's a much greater advantage that they have there are some like exceptions like some studio ghibli films like have a little bit more lip syncing compared to just mouth open close open close but with like with live action uh stuff with the english dubs it's weird and i love how it gets parodied from um kung pao into the fist <laughs> oh god who's he mouth moving mouth moving i don't know <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> it's just like a lot of the time when I watch Japanese movies, I'll actually just watch them in Japanese because I don't mind reading the subtitles. And then I'll watch them later in the Amer- I'll like watch, you know, the English dubs of them. And not only is there the mouth moving issue, it's just they they don't convey the same emotions as the Japanese voice actors. Yeah, it really all depends on how good they do their uh, acting. Oh, uh, I like I watched fucking Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, the the one that. That involved the uh, the fucking the Millennium series, not the not the fucking Heisei series. Come on, but you bastard! That, Is that all you got? Yeah, it was the one that had fucking Kuryu, and that was like my favorite. That was that was one of my favorite movies for a while. Hey, thanks for the push. Just because you know it's giant robots versus you know a giant fucking sea dragon. No! And then I listened to the, the English dub and just oh 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 boy. Oh God! I just got obliterated. Fucking oh, no! annihilated. What a bastard! Wow. What? Asshole! Pretty much. Oh shit! There's a turn right there. God damn. You've been on this course how many times you didn't realize there was a turn? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Is he wrong? <laughs> Like what? Like your third time doing this course? Like you're just like, oh yeah, there's a turn. There's like, oh, I know this town like the back of my hand. Oh hey, that's new. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm in the lead again. Worse. They had this giant hammer. Oh look, they brought it back. No, daddy, no, not the hammer. Oh <laughs> my god, a sexy woman. Would you? Be what kind of question is that? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, come on, come on. Go baby, go baby. If if Chikorita was a sexy woman, would you bang her? Yeah, would I bang a sexy woman? Huh. Well. Chikorita! That kind of fucking answers itself, don't you think? Oh my god. Fucking Christ. Hey, if this moderately attractive girl turned into a sexy woman, would you bang said sexy woman? Like, I, I mean, yeah? <laughs> Where's the downside to this? Race run three of eight. Hmm. Is this the same course or is it a different one? I do like know. Straight people being stereotyped. No, wait. Yeah, no, fucking straight people being attracted to the opposite sex like straight people. What the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> Logic? What's that? I remember seeing this one tweet where like this fucking person was like they they were in a college lecture and there was this Shit. one kid there there was this one white kid sitting in front of her. He's like, Oh my god, this boy ah. literally brought a gallon of water and he's drinking it in class. God I hate white people. It's like fuck <laughs> somebody went and retweeted that tweet and the caption they added to the top was like fucking white people in their goddamn shuffles card deck pulls out random card hydration. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, she's literally saying I hate white people because this kid is drinking water in a class. What a moron. What, what an fuck? ass. It's like, well, what is so odd about carrying a gallon of water? So oh no, water. somebody has to stay hydrated to stay alive. God forbid. Like, Someone, someone's trying to meet their water quota every day. What's the big deal? Like, yeah, okay, I, I, I can understand people like, eyeing it strangely at first i mean i used to do that too i'm like why the fuck do you need to carry around a gal oh it's so you can drink out of it continuously without having to fill it up all the time that's actually really fucking smart i'm gonna yeah. do that like <laughs> it's probably it's somebody, who's, somebody who's it's probably somebody who's busy on a daily basis and can't for, remember to keep track or uh it's just convenient or uh they need to meet their water quota 
What do you mean by water quota? Well, you have to drink you a, it, it, it's recommended that you drink a certain amount of water every day. In order oh to God, is it healthy. the whole eight glasses a day? Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, have you guys seen Adam Ruins Everything? Yes. No. Okay, there was an episode where he explains why that's not really required. It was marketed like that. The only, like, the only amount of water you need to drink is if, like, if your body needs it. I mean, I know for a fact I definitely don't drink eight glasses of water every day. I drink, I drink, like, three, maybe. Uh, I probably don't drink enough water. But, when I yeah. when I was trying to fucking especially when I was in high school where I was trying to cut weight for wrestling so I could wrestle at a really low weight class I fucking <laughs> I, I I I didn't drink water at all if I yeah I would sit there and I'd bust my ass working out and then I'd just be fucking miserable for the next couple of days and then I'd weigh in and I'd be like I, I'd be a good five pounds under what I needed to weigh to pass so I'd be God like all it. right sweet and I'll just start chugging water after that <laughs> it was thanks for the push days. and then i was trying to lose some weight not too long ago and i did that same thing and i was just miserable the entire time this whole <laughs> i wanted to drink like i actually in order to fucking trick myself instead of actually drinking water i would just go to a water fountain like swish water around my mouth and then spit it back out <laughs> it was <laughs> it, it was really bad I wanted to fucking like I like I would wake up the next morning and I just like I don't want to get out of bed like I just I just want to go back to sleep and then not wake up. That's me work. every time I had to get ready for work, having to get up in the middle of the night just to work at that graveyard shift. Uh, yeah. yeah. That, that's been me for the past few uh for the past night because I don't know I I was at a I did a pedicure thing with my mom and the other moms of my family and I was in this massage chair the whole time. Uh, I'm in a lot of pain still. <laughs> oh. From what? I don't know what I don't know what that fucking chair, part of my language, what it did to me, but my upper back is like I feel like like someone took a sledgehammer to my back in three areas. You should get somebody to walk on your back. No, no 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 no. I mean Lars like came up to hug me or like pat me on the back and I'm like ah 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 ah. No, like, no I'm being for real. You need to get somebody to try walking on your back and seeing if they no! can pop out those kinks. Oh ouch. No, no it's, I will, it's actually. I will happily do that for my friends, but no 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 not right not for me no. Oh, not no, right it, now. It, yeah no like getting somebody to walk on your back is not like obviously you know tell them to take their shoes off first but fucking obviously. It, 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 like, a lot of people, when they first hear about it, they're like, what, what, what the fuck? Like, no, it's actually pretty comfortable. Actually, I have a note. I, I know how to pop backs properly, so I can offer y'all to, to pop your backs oh, when I'm I there. Can, I learned how to pop my back in two different ways by myself. One of them just involves me sitting in a chair, locking my legs around the legs, grabbing the back of the chair, and just twisting my spine until you just hear it go... <laughs> There's I can way. do it another way for you you've never had before, though. It feels Whee. nice when somebody does it for you. Oh, is it the one where you grab them, like, around the arms and you just... No! Oh. <laughs> no, mine is a little bit more complicated. What you have to do is you need to lay down on a flat place, head, mm -hmm. on, head on your side, and every time you take a deep breath and let it out slowly, uh, the person presses down on your spine. Pretty oh yeah, friendly. that one. Yeah, that one. I that one I know of. Yeah. And then the other way that I that I do it by myself is just I lay on the ground. I raise one leg into the air and I stretch that leg the opposite to the opposite <laughs> arm that is outstretched, and just keep rotating my hips and just eventually you'll just hear it go. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> It's like, okay, ready? One, it's... two. Ah! <laughs> like, not even get to three. <laughs> I have a spine made out of fucking steel, apparently. How do you crack your neck? Is there a method? Yes, you just simply rotate your head one way or the other. Oh, I just cracked my neck. Oh! Does it feel good? That's just... pretty good. 
Yeah, no, yeah, you just, I just you, tilt you, my head from side to side. Yeah, you just tilt your head and like basically make your ear touch the same shoulder. And like, Sometimes I crack my neck in such a bizarre way I have to make sure my head is still attached. <laughs> Alternatively, if you really want to crack it, you can grab a hold of your chin and the back of your head with your arms and just make it like you're snapping your own neck. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. I, I've done that and the pops have been so loud that people ask me, did you just break your own neck? <laughs> oh shit! For the first time I got second place. Oh, oh. man. I'm actually tempted to hear that. <laughs> it's oh, probably boy. gonna freak everybody out, but this is my left wrist. I don't know if you can hear it. Wait, hold on. Ah, there we go. Oh. Nope. <laughs> I can show you my ankle, but that's pretty disturbing. <laughs> Let's see. Uh. uh... Oh God! <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, reading, I, I, I just read what Sign Steera said. You might be interested uh, okay. in reading that one, uh, Bliss. All right, I'm the strongest person in my lab, so I'm the guy who holds people's arms and cracks their backs by lifting them up. That's the one that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, that's that's that was a method my dad used to use. I, I prefer the the relaxing laying down method myself. It's actually nice when somebody does the one where they just fucking yank you off the ground because you just you feel like your hips just. <laughs> For a split second, they're just detached from your spine, and then everything else. Come on, come you can on, just feel on. up your spine, you can just feel them go. <laughs> 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 Some days are. <laughs> Another day's are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Bliss, have you seen Mad Munchkin's newest video? I have not yet. Mm, I, I would have to take a look at it. What the dick was that? That was me snapping my own neck. Holy! Oh my god! <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Here comes the big one. <laughs> that was actually a can of Coke, just so you know. Well, okay, that's Wow! <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> I, I, that's an understatement right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, let me just break my own neck first. right toe of my my right big toe it can pop indefinitely yeah the same with my ankle it can pop indefinitely like, <laughs> my ankle's really good. freaking like my husband like tells me to stop please stop. The timer. i'm so i'm so, oh boy <laughs> wait oh uh, she's checking the time for uh her cookie Cookie. Cookie. Ask Golden Fox. Do the emoji. Do the emoji. Uh, come on. No. You know, I already have Keyframe asking me to do that. I don't need another fucking wow. Review in the just, emoji movie. Just no. There's really nothing new to say about it. It's a stupid <laughs> idea that was a stupid movie that deservingly tanked and like got received like what a zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. It, it, like, the last I saw, it had, like, 2 or 3 percent, but There still. you go! And based on how many people have said this already, you know, I hate everything, and Nostalgia Critic, and God knows who else, we already know how bad it is, so what the fuck is the point of watching it? I'm allow, gonna me make to, you... <laughs> allow me to reiterate from earlier, let me just break my neck first. <laughs> hey, there, you... <laughs> there you go! <laughs> You, you know what I'd rather make all the review? I'd rather make him review Jaws Revenge. 
That movie has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, and it's one of the very few movies that got a zero-star rating from Roger Ebert. You know it's bad. I have all four Jaws movies. Okay, all four. Okay, I only saw the first Jaws movie, and eh. The first Jaws movie was actually really good, despite the fact that it was blatantly false about how sharks react to things, but still. The thing that always gets me is that in Jaws the Revenge, I haven't seen the movie, but I've heard so many reviews, the family is stupid, they live on the beach, and they continue, excuse me, they continue to go out into the water, even though it's fucking dangerous. Oh, just like the first Jaws movie. Yeah, so like the first Jaws movie. <laughs> Well, okay, in, in the What's in that? the defense, There's a giant killer shark going around. Better hold the festival while everybody of the first goes Jaws in the open movie. water. In the in defense of the first Jaws movie, there was a debate. The, the mayor, yeah, the mayor was saying. Yeah, the mayor was an asshole. The, the sheriff knew something was wrong. P parents were nervous, but they kept getting false reassurance. Well, yeah, I, uh, yeah. No, the, imagine that the fucking the political figures are fucking retarded. They don't only care about. <laughs> Uh, getting reelected. Oh, you mean I'm like the of... mayor from Osmosis Jones? Oh God, don't even. We don't talk started. about him. Uh, <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm actually a really big fan of Jaws too. I, I really like it. It's because I like the new camera movements. I love that there's kids involved, and they're not exactly stupid, in my opinion. And I, I loved the music too. The music was a lot more intense. All right, so now I'm going to go and pop my back. With the assistance from uh, nobody else. Okay, here we go. Ah, felt that one. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me just turn up the game so you can hear everything. Hang on. Ah, yep, felt that one. Jesus Christ. God. Ah. <laughs> That feels good though. It's just like oh, okay, everything's. Oh, nice. uh, okay. I got another one for you, Golden. Actually, I could rage at this one with you. How about mm. Rain of Fire? Rain of Fire. That one sounds familiar, but I I can't put my finger on it for right oh, now. Oh, it's a dragon movie. Oh, is that the movie with uh, Christian Bale? Yeah. Eh, that movie was forgettable. What does it's that totally movie have to do with skipping it was church? False advertisement. Oh, it was okay. I didn't know anything about that. Well, they had a poster of dragons attacking a city and you see helicopters trying to stop them it's implied that we're gonna see dragons destroying moderate time so godzilla no, no, no. It's supposed Apparently to be like not, an apocalyptic though, because, future because no, the movie takes place after that siege happens and we see people just try to survive jesus christ it was wow. false advertisement at its finest you know i don't like which false advertisement do you think was worse reign of fire or battle los angeles I don't think I've seen that one. It's, it's, okay. Imagine <laughs> District 9 mixed with Black Hawk Down, but whacked in the face with a stupid stick. Nope, can't visualize. It's filled with a lot of endless gunfire, and you pretty much, like, so you see the soldiers go through the entire attack all day and all night with a couple of survivors, and they reach at the end of the, um, they reach a safe point uh, the next morning. And uh, they're like they're drinking some, uh, you know, they're drinking and they're resting up. And by that I mean water to, you know, cool down and nourish mm -hmm. themselves. And then they go out to the fight into the battlefield, you know, like what a real soldier would do. And then the movie ends. That's similar to the uh, formula with Black Hawk Down, except with Black Hawk Down, it was a lot more well executed. <laughs> in like I could go on so much on how, how much I love that movie, but it's it's kind of like that, but with aliens, except with the aliens. Like, Battle of Los Angeles is, does not do its fulfillment very well at all. It's just, it's endless gunfire and fighting off these aliens that we know nothing about. And I just, I could not get into it. It did not age well. Eh. Have I seen Deep Blue Sea or Sharknado? I have unfortunately seen both. If I had to choose between the two, I would rather watch Deep Blue Sea. Oh. All right, I no, should go I ahead and save state it. this one because I've been recording this for quite a while. So I'll go okay. ahead and call this an episode. What I hate about the Sharknado movies is many things. First of all, being uh, Their during the, during Shark Week, they show a new movie of Sharknado. It pisses me off. 
And on that note, let's call this an episode. <laughs>